system is that, I put it this way that I can use a full page. You have your center wire, which you use for the capacitor. You use what we've seen, and I explained this, I forgot to explain this on, uh, uh, on Tuesday. Your wire, try to use the standard wire in a cable. So, the wire you use here is a standard wire. The ones in the world use for electricity, your equipment come. We hardly nowadays get a solid wire, um, what you call cables. All the wire cables used in the house, in the electric equipment, is a standard. What you need to do, you need to nano-coat the wire inside the plastic. Do not take the plastic off. There are different ways of doing, doing this, and that is, you nano-coat, you allow this wire to be nano-coated with its plastic jacket. One way to do it, you put the wire, you cut a 20 centimeter wire, you put in a Coca-Cola bottle, you put one end of it in the Coca-Cola bottle, you put caustic in the Coca-Cola bottle, and as you seal it, as you've done the Coca-Cola experiment, the only way which the caustic and the plasma can go is through the gap inside the wire, so your wire gets nano-coated perfectly, when you see blackened copper wire on this end, it means your wire is not coated. Some other ways to do it, some people are doing it is, they're cutting the plastic open, taking the wire, nano coating it and putting it back in the plastic, it's all the same. Then what you have to do, this jacket, the plastic jacket has to be nano coated, it has to go in the caustic. You understand the reason now. Then, you put on this, a layer or what behind the tissue. But you put the Gans on it, you put your tissue here, and so you have a tissue paper Gans here. So, this is your Gans. I try to do it in a way that you all can see. This is your Gans, and this is your uh, plastic, and this is the wire which is in the center. So, you have put the Gans of material here. Now what you do, you put on half of your capacitor, an aluminium foil. So, what you have now, is, this side is Gans with the tissue, this side, Gans with Aluminium. Now, what is done, if you remember, when we had the Aluminium, with the coil on it, this was our battery. Battery combination. And we do two of these. On the paper side, what Alex has added, is, he's added, three of these. So, now what we have, is combination of a battery, with a storage, what we call capacitance. The system continuously produces, feeds the battery, battery feeds back itself. What you do, is you connect the end of the first, to the center wire, or to your negative. Then, you decide to connect what you do, in what way, to make it a power generator, or use it as part of the another connection with another system, of the same, to connect it with the battery, to the plug of the house, to the speed up the nano coating and free energy in the house. Go back on the international teaching of the this, of the, this week on the Cash Foundation, knowledge seekers and you see. So, with this system, we have introduced a new way of work. A battery, plus a capacitor. You can connect one end to your system, and the other as a negative and a positive. So, 
you convert whatever you put here, you can put a DC, AC on here, and at this end, you get a converter of the plasma. You get the total plasma energy. Don't forget all your things, aluminiums or titanium and everything else has to be nano-coated. Your plastic jacket has to be nano-coated. Uh, it has to be put in the caustic to be nano-coated. The reason you put the uh, stranded wire with this cover into the caustic is because once you wrap it straight away with the paper and a GANS, in the past, if you tried Alex's beads as an energy supply, after 5 or 10 days, 10, 20 days, the energy is slowly withered. It was not there anymore. Because the interaction of the plasma could not be cleared. Here, with the presence of the plastic, you continuously being in a caustic, you release atomic structure hydrogen the way same as universe. Don't forget, all the plastics have a CH bond. The C continuously becomes part of the uh, gas of the CO2 in your layer, and the H becomes the energy plasma release. This new system, this new battery combination plasma of, uh, capacitor, will give you a total new dimension in the energy production. If you connect one of these, middle of the three, to Earth, through the experience we have, if you do it the right way, you would create a sinusoidal feedback. So, you can connect this to Earth, and connect the other part of it, if you want, into your system, to create the pulse, which is needed to release the plasma in your macro units. The system becomes a generator. We know this, we've done this, this is experience done a long time ago. We are aware what it can do. It's for you to expand it. You need, to, for a full system, such a combination. I call this unit A unit. What we see, which is the most advantageous to do, is to put four A's in parallel, and then connect every four, if I call this a B unit, you need to put four B units in series. If in all the four, you connect what we called here, if I call this one, uh, because it's a capacitor C2, if you connect at least one of the C2s here, Earth, or any of the four, you will find out, you create the impulse you're looking for, that triggers the power generation in the Magrav units you built, or you buy from us, or from the cash foundations around the world. Now, the system become a generator. You will see, it will take a time for it to work. The way to speed it up, you can put this into a power supply, connect it to the grid, and then connect this to your MAGRAV system. You will see up to 100% reduction in total electricity consumption, in a specific cases, if it's done the correct way. This is the way to break through the shackles of the energy control. Don't forget, test it, and let us know. This is what we see, this is what we are testing, and this is how we see the generative power unit to become, uh, what you call the MAGRAV unit, 
to become power generators. We will develop this technology, this side, as an additional unit to the power backup units, when the full test confirmations come. So, if you test it and you tell us it's correct as well, it helps us to be able to speed it up. This gives you the power energy as a battery, this gives you the power energy as a capacitor, one feeds back to the other, you can even connect one of these directly to back to back. So, the capacitor feeds the system too. Where, on the other hand, you can connect your capacitor to this end. Don't forget, don't look at the connections as a matter state, look at these connections as a plasmatic state. Go on the teachings of plan of the system. He, he has explained thoroughly how you will go from uh, you can use one as a power unit, and one as for load, and one as for plug system, that you can connect to your plugs. We have explained this thoroughly, this in step by step in the teaching of Thursday. We went on Tuesday on the international teaching, go over it, and I'm sure as part of the Keshe Foundation worldwide, with the intelligence we gathered, and we have amongst us, we can improve on this drastically. 